Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. Uh, this one is going to be on Stacy Keebler, Women's Legend. So uh, we have Stacy Keebler in the game now. She's an Attitude Era technician. She has um, the Attitude Era link, gems do 10% more damage, and the Women's Superstars link. She has the one gear, the Women's Legend gear. She is a coach all the way at 9k. Red gems do 2,200 more damage at the coach position. Uh, that that ends up being close to like 25 percent, uh, 22, 23 uh, percent at the current uh, levels of the game. That could change as it goes on and gem damage increases. But right now, that's a really good coach for like say a Walter, um, an Earthquake with his green area move, any of that stuff. Um, so. I'm on vacation uh, on the road and I'm doing this uh, preview from my laptop. So hopefully the quality is as good as normal. If it's slightly off, that is why. So I have three movesets for you guys today, a three star, a four star, and a five star, as well as a couple uh, nifty surprises as um, they have uh, given us a strap for the preview. Um, I did not completely overload the strap um, and it's set up for the three star move and the four star move in combination. So if we look at the strap, I strapped her up uh, double fury. That's 40% gem uh, damage. Well, here you can look. My gem damage is right around 51 to uh, 55%. Um, so that's almost equal to the gem defense the AI will have. So it's about a wash. So I set it up to be even with gem damage. Um, just a generic move damage metal, 33%, um, nothing crazy, 15% gem defense, and move defense is only 4%. It's not leveled. It's just there for the buff. So I set it up to be pretty even. I do have a skill plate equipped that is going to specifically be for my favorite move set, which is the last one I'm going to use, the four-star move set. Uh, so you'll want to watch for that. That move set's pretty cool with the skill plate. Um, I'm obviously I can't switch the skill plates around uh, a ton, so I'm only going to do one skill plate, and I'll do that on my favorite build. Um, other than that, uh, that should cover the cool surprises with the strap, making things a lot more equal. So let's take a look at our moves. The five star move set um, is the finisher, the Keebler kick, deal 63k damage, and make the bottom four rows into botch gems. The scoop slam, and that's 10 MP green. The scoop slam, 8 MP green, deal 29k damage and choose 6 gems to make into botch gems. And the ground stomps, deal 37k damage and choose a 3x3 three three area to swap into green gems. Uh, for the entourage, I'm actually going to run with steel. So one green match gets us the finisher. Um, 4 MP to start. Um, KO for tech for green moves, do 45% more damage, get that finisher up to 98k. Um, with uh, Jay Uso coaching, uh, it adds another 10% to green move damage. And I'm going with Ember Moon for a little bit higher chance of a green match on the initial board, because that's what we want to do is start with a green match. Barring a green match, uh, we, we take a purple as well. Uh, so let's get out here and take a look at this move set. I'm going to go against a 5-star silver uh, Lacey Evans on the road. Um, she's strapped. We're strapped. It's pretty much a wash on the gem damage and stuff. Uh, if you look, uh, her defense, she's lowering ours by 49%, and we're at 55%, so pretty even. I uh, have two her perks, plus two MP, and uh, plus one on a match. And let's get in here and take a look and see how it goes. This will run a little bit slower than my uh, PC at home, so it might take a hot minute to get into the battle. And as per usual... In um, the previews of late, it crashed. So, yeah. I definitely won't be editing that out as I'm on the road. Um, but uh, for this moveset, I would go double armor. I don't have double armor equipped. I'm not going to be changing metals around like crazy and that kind of thing. Um, so it's double fury on her. But I would go double armor. And then uh, head games would be preferred um, with the botch gems, since we're going to take advantage of that finisher, botching the four bottom rows. Um, uh, barring head games, cheap shot would be my secondary pick. So um, that's what I would use um, for medals on this moveset. 
Again, my favorite moveset is going to be the final one, and we're going to get to see the skill played in action, which uh, makes that moveset really, really good. And uh, it's by far my favorite moveset for her. Uh, if she looks familiar, there are uh, there there are some other wrestler or another wrestler with a similar move set. Um, so a lot of you may already have a good idea of how she's going to play. Um, so yeah, but it's uh, she's got some quick starting moves and she's got an interesting finisher and she has a good bleed. So there's a lot you can do there. I definitely miss my PC. Alright, let's try this again. We're going to get in there and see how this looks. Five star silver, Lacey Evans, over two million hit points. Here we go. We're actually going to the uh, Oregon Caves today and the Redwoods, so it's going to be a pretty fun day. Alright, hopefully we have a green match to start. Mm, we don't. And we don't have a purple. So, not optimal starting board, but it is what it is. So I'm going to take the, see what we can get to drop, probably nothing, but you never, oh we got purple, that'll work. So the frames are a little bit lower on this, so it'll be a little bit choppy, the best I can do though. Okay, excellent. We have a lot of pin bar to work with, so that is a good thing, and we have the botch move loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw all of these on the top row, and hope they survive. So we can do it twice. I'm just going to put it in the corner here. Excellent. And um, we have a five match, so we can take a swipe. So I'm going to do that in case we need to recycle, because this moveset won't recycle. Uh, you could also um, use the, I believe, the, the glowing phantom plate um, when you make... Nope, that wouldn't work. That's backwards, so never mind. Ignore that statement. Okay, one, two, three, four. So we want to botch those, those. And she matches that. We'll do, we'll do that for the botches. Now we're going to make the bottom four rows. Finisher hit for 108k. And let's see if Lacey can kick out with the, almost the whole board botched. Yes, she can. On the plus side, we're not going to take a lot of damage because there's a ton of boss gems out there. Just wait here while Lacey does Lacey things. And hopefully she'll take this yellow match right here and leave us the purple. I do see the five match. I don't want it. Okay, this is gonna pin, so when we hit it next turn, unless she moves the pin bar a lot. This is my least favorite moveset, but this is the only 
uh, moveset really to show these uh, the other moves off for you guys. So okay. we should be able to control the pin here to a degree. It's a big area, so it can be hard to find a good spot. That looks okay-ish. And nope, pinned anyway. That's okay. Okay, now we can do some things. The screens at the top could be a potential problem. And let's hit the yellows, because that's her primary color. And see how it goes this time. See if we can keep her down. Obviously double armor would help, but I don't know if it would have helped enough to keep her down yet, so the match continues. Screen. Lacey's going to do more lacy things. Hopefully, um, this time we'll be able to keep it down. And this hopefully won't pin, but it probably will. Yep, it definitely will. Let's try this again. Um, let's watch those. Those. There we go. All right, we're looking good so far. Those greens are going to be... Alright, there we go. Okay, that moveset is done. Excellent. Uh, now, um, this will probably be a familiar one to a lot of people. The next moveset. Uh, it's going to be a tricolor. With some low charges. Uh, recycles really well. Uh, can, can pin uh, a lot. Um, but we're set up for Fury with this one. So we're going to run this one with our double Fury. For plates, I would use the blue bomber or the two words for you. So once we get out of here, I'll get the moves changed up and we can take a look at them. All right. And this move set is available at three star. We're going to use the five MP green corner stomps. Uh, it deals 28k damage. And you choose a 2x2 two two yellow uh, area. So that's a really good one. And then we're going to choose a uh, 6 MP yellow corner foot choke, 32k damage, and choose a 3x2 area to purple. And then we're going to bring back the purple move you saw, the ground stomp, that's 37k, and choose a 3x3 three three area to swap to green. It's not a finisher, but we're essentially using it as one. 
and the Entourage, uh, we're going to keep Steel in there, and we're going to put Slick Rick in for 20% gem damage, since we're doing a lot of gem damage. We're going to put Lacey in at the coach for green and purple gem damage, 20%. And then we're going to put Texina at the other coach for 15% more uh, green gem damage. So that 3x3 three three area will hopefully be pretty big. And we can do some damage. Alright. Let's get in here and see how this one goes again. Um, I am running um, Double Fury. Um, but only at 51 or 55 percent green gem damage. So um, she has 49 percent reduction. So that's almost a wash. So it's sort of like going against Vader, but not. Ideally, with this, you want to try and control the pin bar as much as possible. It's going to be difficult on the first turn. And I do have the uh, time once again plate equipped. Um, so when I make uh, purples, it will fill the yellow even though we don't need to at all. Uh, let's do this. So really with this build set, you want to control the pin bar and try and get all three moves off each turn. Which can be difficult. Yep, not going to happen this turn. Alright, this is our big move, so I'm going to try and connect it to as many greens as possible and see how hard we can hit. Nice cascade. That will be very nice. So 320k on that, and uh, everything's ready to recycle. So that's not too shabby, really. It would have been uh, nice to do that on the first turn, uh, but it kept Lacey down, so... There you go. That's that move set. Um, when uh, when it when it hits big and they can't kick out, uh, it's going to be very quick and very fast. That's probably the normal one people would uh, be used to running. This next one though is my favorite. I think overall, I think uh, it'll uh, perform the best, the most consistently, uh, especially with the time once again plate, which is what we have equipped. And you could run it um, Fury, you could run it Armor. Armor, you're going to take less damage. Fury, you're not going to do a lot more damage. But if you should need to kick out, uh, it'll make kickouts a lot easier. Techs don't always have the highest gem damage, so it, that can be a bonus there. Uh, so let's take a look at this one. And if I wasn't running the Time Once Again plate, it, I wouldn't use uh, some of the trainers that I'm going to run. And we'll cover that as I go over it. So we're going to bring in the Roundhouse Kick. That's the move you guys haven't seen. One of the moves you guys haven't seen yet. 1 MP yellow. Deal 5k damage. And then bleed them for 14,000 for 4 turns. Um, we're going to keep the, uh, the Foot Choke in that we had. But we're going to put the other move you guys haven't seen. The Sleeper Hold in. 8 MP purple. It's a sub. Uh, play six submission gems and do 16k damage for five turns. The remaining uh, gems turn into botch gems. For the Entourage, we're going to run with Kofi for the yellow MP. This one, you can load the sub turn one uh, with the bleed, so you can slow people down. Uh, it's very control and defense oriented, board control and defense, so... Armor would be great. I probably would be inclined to do armor. Uh, just Fury would make the kick out easier. We're going to do Seth for more bleed damage. I don't have Kyrie. She would be great at coach for more bleed damage. Um, and if I wasn't running the time once again plate, I would use uh, Brock for more sub turns. But with the time once again, you'll see how many times we can get the bleed off uh, each turn. 
We're going to put Nikki at a coach for purple sub missions, do 50% more damage, and then we're going to double down on subs with Shelton for 15% more sub damage. And let's get out there and run this match. So the bleed is going to start loaded turn one. And then we're going to hit the next yellow move. And ideally not force a pin, which will let us hit the bleed again, and then the sub. So we're going to start with a couple stacks of bleed. And uh, if when we can make a... If we can make a five match, which actually I might try to do, um, because we have a yellow match over here too. So I'm going to try and make a five match. And if I don't cascade, we can get three stacks of the bleed on turn one. With the plate. Okay, so here's the second bleed. So the plate went off and uh, filled the yellows a bit again. And now, if we don't cascade here, like that, we can get another bleed. So we got three stacks of the bleed on turn one, and now we're going to hit the sub. So Lacey's at roughly right at two million. Let's see how much damage we do. down to 1.84. So it ends up with three stacks being a, right around uh, the, the whole thing. A little more than 400,000. Like 450k. And it's very control based and can recycle very well. Now this in this case we have almost no uh, pin bar left. So we're going to force a pin which is unfortunate. But let's see. If there's a good looking spot. I'll just try and get as much uh, damage on the pin as we can. Nice little cascade. But the nice thing is you're just bleeding every turn, uh, you're reloading the sub every turn. Sometimes if the pin bar doesn't work with you like that, um, they might get a move off if they get their match, but you're not going to take much damage. And it's very consistent. So here we have options. We could hit the sub, but she's not in danger of hitting her move, so I'm just going to get the yellows. And then look to stack that bleed up again next turn going into the sub. card in the wrong spot. I want to try and keep yellow. Let's put it there. Only two stacks this time. Again, we have options. Um, we could hit the sub or we can take the match. Not in danger of hitting a move. I'm going to go ahead and take the match. And stack some more bleeds up next turn, up to three stacks. So I'm sure you guys have the idea at this point. You're just recycling the, the, the moves, bleeding them out, hitting the sub, controlling the board, or getting a bad cascade like that. 
So now she actually will get a move. Because I got too greedy. That's okay. We should we should probably let the the AI at least have a little fun this match, right? Okay. Bleed. Into the sub. Get rid of those heal gems. It is not fast against a uh, five-star silver showboat, though. That is for sure. Ooh, there's a big old five match right there. The other thing to note, if we had a purple match, when you're trying to kick out of a pin, the plate will work, and it would go off um, and fill our yellows, but we do not have a purple match, which is too bad, because I'd like to show you guys that. I'm going to see if I could get one to fall. I cannot. Okay. And it should be over next turn. Famous last words, though. Especially because uh, we have some pin bar to play with now. Not gonna be greedy this time, because I think hitting the sub now will end it. So here we go. Again, get rid of the heal gems with the sub gems. And that's gonna be it for Lacey. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Hopefully the audio and stuff is good. Like I said, on vacation and had just enough time to speak this out in the morning. Uh, luckily, my family is all very understanding, and they're sitting here uh, listening to me do this really amazing video. <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comments, and remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out. Other than that, guys, uh, good luck out there, and have a good showdown weekend. Thanks for watching.